What is going on guys? In this video I want to review an app called Reflector 2. Now what this app basically is, is it's a screencaster. It casts the iPhone screen on your computer like so. Uh, basically with this you could play a bunch of games and record the media onto your computer. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but it is going a little bit slow. So the way to, I guess, counteract this is if you forwarded the ports now i don't i'm not sure which ports need to be forwarded i did contact the creators of this app and hopefully they'll get back to me soon once they let me know i will post that information in the description now if you're not too familiar with forwarding ports and you did want to get a smooth um i guess a smooth screencast then you would set up a, a private network a personal hotspot so on your iphone you would go into the settings then you click on personal hotspot and you just enable that and once that's enabled you would basically click on your network and then you would find I guess whatever your personal hotspot is called on your iPhone and then you would connect to that and that this way you would get a faster smoother without lag connection uh, and you would be able to record a lot quicker you would be able to record the footage without any lag so I just want to go through some of the settings with this app. So first off, you could scale the iPhone on your screen as big or as small as you want it. I guess that's the smallest and I guess that's the biggest. So if you right click onto the screen and you click on, you actually highlight frame skin iPhone 6 gold, you can actually choose no frame at all. And that will take away the frame on your iPhone on your computer. So if you did want a frame, you just click on that again, you right click, and then you can choose within the iPhone 6 or whichever iPhone you're using. And for this, I'm just going to choose the iPhone 6 Gold. And hopefully that's going to work. How come that's not working? So for some reason that did not register. There we go. Okay, so we'll just do the silver and then we go to gold now. There we go. So now it's switched to gold. I don't know why that didn't work before. So now... You can do other things with this. You can scale to the default size and that'll scale it to the default size. Um, another thing you can do with this app is you can go into landscape mode. You're basically forcing, even though you, if you don't have the iPhone 6 Plus or a, a larger version of the iPhone or an iPad that automatically when you turn the screen sideways, it turns it landscape mode. So the iPhone 6 doesn't do that. So you can actually force it in landscape mode. Now it doesn't actually move everything in landscape mode. As you can see, it just turns the actual iPhone in landscape mode with the icons in, I guess with everything sort of shifted, you know, it doesn't actually rotate them like it does if you had a larger screen. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and change that back to the default or automatic. So once that's back, now I want to show you guys some settings that this app actually has. So if I would, if I were to click on that, I do have the microphone that if I just click on that, it would enable the microphone and it would start recording within the app. Um, another thing I wanted to mention about the screen is you do have a record button. Sorry guys, you do have a record button that you would just click on in order to record footage and then when you're done you would just click stop and that would automatically save it and you would actually choose a name right now it's just just saving the file so that takes uh it could take a uh, quite a few seconds actually that's uh something i don't i don't i didn't really get but that takes a few seconds to save if you did have a larger file it could take up to even a minute so that's something to consider i don't know if you guys can see that but it is going a little bit slow so let's oh here we go okay so now it's asking me what I want to save this as so we'll just use the regular let's just add a one there so we don't need to replace any file that we do need <clears throat> so let me show you guys some of the settings that this thing has this app has reflector too so you have the you have the webcam icon here you choose this is where you choose the webcam that you will be using if you are using it and the same goes with the microphone so you can choose whichever microphone you have and now let's go ahead into the settings so we go into settings preferences 
and this is the general screen if you guys can see that this is if you want to name the device connection this is 1080p excuse the blinking on the mouse I noticed that that's just part of the OBS I guess because I'm using it with Windows 7 that's why it's doing that to me so you have that default size again you have certain connection screens now this is this is actually important if you did want to choose a background while you were recording you could actually pull the drop down menu and choose whichever background color you want so when you do record it records the iPhone in back of a either green screen or whichever type of screen you choose whether it's a light blue or whatever so that it blanks out your desktop now if you did want to display the desktop background you would just put a checkbox into that cir a circle right there a check mark uh, just fill in that circle right there. So now recording, you do 1080p, 30 frames per second. I'm just showing you the settings that I use and the recording background. I, I'm not sure why it has it twice. I guess one of them is for if you're recording, one of them is for if you're just having it on the screen type of thing. Now, this is not really important, director or student. This is usually if you, you, I guess a teacher or a student would use it in the classroom, they would be able to connect with the reflector app the student app. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. It's the student app. So I'm just going through that quickly. Um, some of the things I would like to mention with this is um, so again they do offer a seven day trial if you guys did want to try out the um, the program. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is that the program itself costs $14.99 if you guys did want to um, buy it, a license, it's per license, it's $14.99. And I will be showing you some gameplay footage at the end of this video just to show you guys how smooth it is with or without personal hotspot. Now I know, again, some service providers, phone service providers disable personal hotspot, so you will have to find a way around that. Again, I will find a way to uh, get the ports forwarded. Uh, if you can, I will actually try to post it in the description. So otherwise, this is a really nice app. I really do enjoy using it. And it's really cool for, um, it's really good for, again, streaming your gameplay video. If you do play a lot of games on your iPhone and you want to stream to YouTube or just to, um, if you do use a Twitch channel and you didn't want to stream certain stuff, you can actually use this. Works quite well. Again, this is Reflector 2, and so far so good. I did have this app for about two days now, and I am enjoying it. So anyway, that will be it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And until next time, take care, and I'll catch you on the flip side.